Rick Barcode of flarebar.com interviews Scott about the future of flair. Well, I think I think we have uh, we have a real challenge on our hands in the sense that I think that definitely it's entertaining. We always get pressed because wow, look at the, the fancy circus guys throwing things in the air. That's really cool. It's kind of a novelty, and we are right now we're very much of a, a sort of a backwater. Uh, underground society. You know, the people who like flaring. Uh, if you look at all the bartenders in the room, look at the numbers, that's exactly what we are. We've got extremely strong, passionate following, and we love it, we believe in it. And I think that if, if we want to keep it at that level, well, the contests that, we're, that we are doing, uh, I think we don't change them. We keep the things I was saying before. We keep uh, not deducting people for the juggling. We keep not deducting people for spilling and, and dropping and uh, you know they're not making drinks. Now luckily we are evolving which is great to see. Um, the Legends every year is approved, the Quest is approving, um, there's other contests out there that are, um, there was one that we're running in, in Canada, it's a working floor championship. The IBA is having another one and they're approving, I'm helping to, to write the rules for that. I think that if we want this to go as mainstream, as widespread as, as I think it can be and should be because it's good business to do this. And all the smart ones know that. I mean, you know that. You know, get behind the bar, and if you're doing this kind of stuff, and have a personality, you're making so much more money, so much more opportunity. If we want it to evolve to where it can be, we've got to showcase it as good business.